Now, some people say that having a 100 list seems a bit uh, um, strange, as though you can't have uh, rankings or competition with spirituality. And, and, and I agree to some extent, but I still think, first of all, you know, just by choosing 100 names, you're, you're already, uh, you know, selecting something. And obviously, there are a lot more than 100 great spiritual teachers alive today. There, there's no doubt about that. But, uh, you know, we had to make a selection there. And then the idea of the, the ranking, because it's true, we could have just published it as a, a list of 100 names, you know, I don't know, maybe like alphabetically or something like that. But we wanted to rank them to give an indication of just how influential they are in terms of how often their Wikipedia pages are read and, and different things like that. And, and I, I think there is a lot of value to that. I mean, surely if you look at the names, and you can see the whole list actually by clicking here, um, if you look at the names in the top 20, you'll see that they, they, they actually have a lot more of an impact on a global level than the last 20. And one of the beauty, uh, one of the beautiful things about using, uh, you know, annual data is it can change every year. So just because someone was very influential two years ago, they're, you know, perhaps uh, they've been doing less and, and that's okay. So every year, you know, rankings can change. People can fall out of the 100 list, come back into the 100 list. And it's, uh, it's actually very exciting to, to watch and, and, uh, and celebrate uh, you know, what, what these incredible people are doing. So this was the very first time that we published the 100 list. It was in a magazine that we started called the Watkins Review. Today it's called Watkins Mind, Body, and Spirit Magazine. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's available uh, all over the world. And you can also get it by subscribing to, uh, to it from, uh, from our web store right over here. And, uh, and actually, as you see on the cover, you've got a lot of uh, a lot of great people, and in many ways, not that much has changed. A lot, a lot of the names are the same. Um, it's funny. You mentioned that there are a lot of lists at the time. You've got you know Forbes. You've got uh, for billionaires. You've got Art Reviews, Power Hundred list, and for artists and collectors. Um, but there really wasn't a great list for spirituality, and we we felt that that was important. That's something that deserved to be celebrated, and that's that's why we started this list. Um, and, and obviously, look, no list is completely definit definitive. The idea was to, to start a conversation. And, and I, I do think that over the years, we have improved the list. And, and if you have any comments, people that you think should be on the list, please let us know. But remember, they have to be alive and they have to be spiritual. They can't be spreading messages of hate. So it has to be you know, positive messages. And they have to be you know, frequently Googled. They, have to, they should have a Wikipedia page and that page should have large viewing statistics as well, all of which are public. Secret. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's great. It's great to see to see all these people. And, and you can learn a little bit about them and, um, and hopefully find, uh, find new spiritual teachers. Um, but obviously, we, we even mentioned, it's funny, in, in the very first, uh, first issue, we also highlighted that even though, um, you know, all these people have really great things to teach you, I'm still a strong believer that we all, in the end of the day, we all have our own spiritual teacher inside of us. And so never, you know, never follow blindly any spiritual teacher. Remember that, you know, it's good to look up to different spiritual teachers and think about different things. But always in the end of the day, remember to use your judgment and remember that everybody deserves their own spiritual path. Yeah, Eckhart Tolle is, uh, is actually at fourth place, uh, which is still very respectable. And uh, Deepak Chopra, uh, funnily enough, is actually still <laughs> in fifth place, although over the years, He's actually gone up, uh, well, not up, I think fifth is the highest, but he's gone down and then back up. So uh, obviously Chopra is extremely prolific. And, and again, the list can change every year. It's, uh, you know, obviously the, the people on the list have to be alive. Uh, once again, to view the entire list, you know, you can click here. And uh, yeah, I mean, look, some people have said that, uh, that it sounds a little silly to have uh, uh, a ranking of, uh, of different spiritual teachers that supposedly by ranking people, that's less spiritual. Now, I, I can understand the idea of, uh, you know, uh, uh, that, that perhaps spirituality and competition shouldn't go hand in hand, but, but I disagree. I think that, uh, um, I think there is, uh, there is a good reason to try and, and rank people. And, uh, and obviously, if you look at the, uh, the top 10 or 20 in our list as compared to like the last 10 or 20, uh, you'll see that they get uh, their Wikipedia page gets a lot more views. They're Googled a lot more. They usually uh, their books are better read. So the, 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 you know you can measure you can measure that impact. Of course, no system is perfect, but um, but I think there is is still value in ranking. 
Um, because yeah, some people suggested that maybe we should just have a 100 list without any rankings. It's an interesting idea. But nonetheless, no matter what, just by you know containing it to 100 names, which is you know what it would be otherwise, yeah, the list could be infinite. Um, you know, you have to make uh, decisions, and and it's not easy. Um, you know, obviously, um, influence is one factor, but so is spirituality. And and if someone has a lot of influence but aren't necessarily completely spiritual, then that could be diluted. There, it's it's you know it is a bit of a, uh, there is a bit of an art to it. But one of the things that we use that that is very uh, very scientific and analytical is Wikipedia page views. Um, now every Wikipedia page will actually let you hit on the uh, on its web statistics. You can go through page information and see that, and uh, and you can see exactly how many times uh, that Wikipedia page is read uh, every day. So I think I think that that's a very fair. Um, uh, measure because it's kind of it's kind of like democratic voting, right? Nobody's forced to go and read Wikipedia pages. People people Google different names, they go to Wikipedia, they read them, and and that really indicates just how how much interest how people have in in that particular teacher.